So in this video, we're going to talk about Health Sci textbooks. Ever since I started Health Sci a few years ago, one of the most common questions that I get every year is whether to buy textbooks, if so, which ones to buy. And we're going to cover that and much more in this video. We'll start the video by looking at the purpose of textbooks and then look at whether you really need to buy them and if so, which ones. And then finish the video by talking about some buying options. So here are the timestamps for this video and let's get started. Let's start by talking about the purpose of health side textbooks. The purpose of textbooks is to be there as a trusted source of information to supplement your learning, which is especially helpful if there's a particular concept that you don't understand, or if there is like a concept that you're really interested in and you just want to get more information about it. However, textbooks tend to be much greater detail than what you actually need to know for your exam, and it can be a little bit overwhelming. Many of the papers say that the textbook is technically examinable, but like we talked about in the transition to health side video, there is a lot of content in the lectures already, and thankfully the vast, vast majority of questions in the exam are derived from the information in the lectures. There's just so much content in such little time that it's not really worth learning every single detail in the textbook to fully cover your ground. Rather, the order of priority that I recommend is first, knowing your lecture stuff really well, and then your labs, and then textbooks is your last priority. So to recap, focus on the lecture material because that's what your lecturers think is the most important. Then use your textbooks if you need help understanding something or if you're really interested in a particular concept. Another helpful way you can use textbooks is just to like skim read the textbook, not needing to go into any deep detail, but just like before hubs and before physics, I would just skim the reading and just to get an overview. That's the purpose at the start is just getting an overview and not getting bogged down by the details. So before we get into the specific textbooks, I just wanted to mention that the textbooks are available at the Otago Library for a short term loan of two hours at a time. So you don't have to buy a textbook, you can get them at the library as well. Now let's go through each of the papers and see whether it's worth getting the textbook. This is based off my experience going through HealthSide. So let's talk about Hubs 1 and the Hubs 1 2 textbook first. I think this one's the most worth getting. One, it's one textbook for two papers and I probably use this textbook the most. The diagrams in this textbook are quite helpful and the lecture slides are largely based on the textbook. There can be quite a bit of excess detail though, so just remember to focus on the lecture slides first. There is also a Martini Atlas that often comes with this textbook. During health site, I didn't even look at it once, so I personally think that if you've already got the Hubs textbook, I don't think it's worth looking around to just get the Atlas. Um, but who knows, maybe you'll actually use it unlike me. And funny story, but my friend in second year medical school, she was like, it's actually pretty helpful for med school, so maybe that's what it is, but I didn't use it for that anyway. So yeah, who knows, you, may, you might actually use it. Now let's move on to the physics textbook. This textbook was written by lecturers slash teaching fellows in the University of Otago. So this textbook actually follows quite nicely with the physics content in Physi 191. Each chapter basically reflects a lecture and the textbook includes practice questions. An interesting thing though is that they just give you the answers to every second question. I don't know why, maybe it's just like a textbook thing. But don't worry, you have a lot of past year physics exam questions to look through and the past year questions are much more high yield anyway. But I'd say this textbook is helpful for people who want but more information to help them understand some concepts. The thing with physics though is the best thing to do is just learn the content and do lots of practice questions to solidify the concepts. Moving on to cells 1A1, this textbook has some helpful diagrams but really the vast vast majority of things that you need to know are all in the lectures. I personally didn't use the cells textbook as much because I focused on mastering the lecture content and I didn't really have time to look through a lot of the sales readings. Moving on to Chem 191, the lecturers often give optional textbook homework to help solidify your learning in the lectures. So the Chem 1 I think is quite a good one to have access to. 
As for the population health 192 textbook, this textbook is helpful if you like nice and concise summaries and or if you didn't understand something quite well in the lectures. To be honest though, I didn't really look at this textbook as much as well as I thought the lecture and tutorial contents was enough for me to understand what I needed to. As for Biot 192, I remember quite clearly that the lecturer told us that all we needed to know for Biot 192 is all in the lectures and the handouts. So I didn't even get this textbook, so I can't really comment on what this textbook is like. So to recap, the order of priority for me would be the really nice to have ones would be hubs and chemistry, the nice to have would be physics, and, you, and the ones that you may or may not find helpful would be the cells, population health, and bio 192. Note that this is from my personal experience, other people might have different experiences. I've had friends who have hardly touched the textbooks, so I, I think I'm probably one of the people that use the textbooks a bit more often. Now let's talk about the different buying options. First we will talk about hard copy versus ebook and then brand new versus second hand. So the benefits of an ebook is that one, it's often cheaper brand new compared to buying a brand new hard copy textbook. Two, it's portable, you can put it on all your devices and it saves you carrying a big weight around. But on the other hand, the biggest benefit of a hard copy over an ebook is that you can easily resell it the next year, whereas you can't really do that with an ebook. A hard copy can also help you to reduce your screen time as well. Now, comparing brand new versus second hand, if the edition of the textbook is the same, I personally go for the second hand option. By buying second hand, you save a lot of money compared to buying them brand new. You can often buy them at more than 50% off the brand new price. And you can later sell them at a similar or slightly lower price than what you bought it at. Whereas if you buy it brand new, you most likely have to sell it at a much lower price than what you bought it at. However, the main cons for buying a second-hand textbook is that it can take a bit more time to find the books for sale and organize pickup and payment, etc. I was really lucky because I had a friend who was the year above me reach out to sell her textbooks to me. If, if that wasn't the case, it probably would, would have taken me a bit more time to find the textbooks and get a good deal. The benefits of buying brand new though is that it's new and it's slightly less hassle like we talked about. Or if there's like a new edition that just got released and you want the up-to-date editions then potentially brand new might be helpful. But otherwise a lot of the time the edition before is just as good and saves you money if you buy the slightly older edition. And that's advice from my high school physics teacher as well. I can't really make specific comments about the differences between the house side textbooks in the different editions because I just bought one edition for each textbook. Now let's talk about where you can buy textbooks. If you're wanting to buy brand new, it's often cheaper to buy it online compared to buying it at the uni bookshop. It's good to compare prices on multiple websites and then buy from a good, reputable source. It's really good to look up some genuine reviews of the websites that you're wanting to buy textbooks off just to make sure that it's a safe and legitimate website and not a scam. If you're wanting to buy secondhand, I recommend asking your friends in the year above you if they still have theirs, going on Facebook market group places, for example there's the secondhand books Otago Uni group, or going on Trade Me. Start looking early and compare multiple listings before you finalize your decision. And if you haven't been able to find a good offer yet, just keep coming back to the page and you'll eventually hopefully find one that you're looking for. Cool, so we've reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and if it was helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Until next time, remember to enjoy the journey.